What's up, YouTube? Hope everybody's having a wonderful Saturday morning. I know I am. I rarely get a weekend off, so when I do, it's usually spent doing work around the house, so it really doesn't feel like a weekend off. But today, I said to hell with the housework. I'm gonna do something fun. So, I'm on my way to the gym right now. Get, get that out of the way. And then I think we're gonna go to the shooting range. Release some stress. I'm probably gonna meet up with my brother. Go shoot a couple rounds off. Maybe have some lunch. I don't know what I'm, I might go to the beach today too. It looks, looks fairly nice out. I've been contemplating and thinking what I want to make this channel about. And I, at first I thought, well, you know, I like to show people all the stuff there is, you know, that, that a lot of people don't know about. You know, go out and explore uh, in Texas, but Texas is big, as most of you know. And uh, it costs to go driving really uh, far out places. So I think I'm just gonna start off with my area and uh, go from there, see how that works. But um, I gotta think of a new new name, Texas Sun, just too, too cliche. But I was tired. I really couldn't think of anything at the moment, so I just put Texas Sun. Maybe I can come up with something better, but for now, it's Texas Sun. Oh, it's gross. Anyhow. I will get back with y'all after my workout. So my girlfriend likes to give me a hard time about spending money and frivolous things. And I admit I have a problem with it. But I can't help it. I work my ass off. Why can't I spend my money? So I just spent $100 at Academy just so I could go to the gun range and spend some more money. I think I'm starting to see what she's talking about. Yeah, but. Well, headed to the uh, gun range, finally. I, uh, of course, I'm going alone. Call ended. What the heck was that about? Anyways, <clears throat> yeah, the brother already had plans, and uh, so the girlfriend's asleep. She works nights, so it's just me, which is fine. I'm used to it, but uh, we're going to go check out this, this new gun range, indoor gun range called Big Country, and uh, they've only been open a few days. And, uh, they have a uh, they posted a uh, tour video on Facebook that looks like a pretty nice place they even have a 50 yard uh, range which I guess not a lot of uh, indoor ranges has that I don't know there's really nowhere to go shooting down here in uh, Lake Jackson you got uh, a gun or a uh, yeah, gun range out at, um, in Brazoria called Greenwood, which you have to be a member of, and, and to become a member, you gotta, yeah, it's an act of Congress, really, and I don't, I don't even think it's worth it. Uh, I guess it's controlled by a bunch of stuck-ups, 
work at Dow or Phillips and you know, whatnot. Um, and then you got the Bazoria gun range, which isn't in Missouri. In fact, it's out on 2004 <clears throat> between Angleton and uh, Lake Jackson or Richwood. And it, you got to be a member to be able to get in there too. And it's just, it's not worth it. That place, I mean, it's all right. But um, God forbid you go out there without some mosquito spray. <sighs> so, that's it that's unless you know someone who has land or you have land yourself there's really nowhere to go but they just built this uh indoor range here in richwood which they have another location in alvin and uh i'm gonna go check it out and uh blow off some steam I haven't been shooting in uh Probably about uh, two years now. But, um, this should feel pretty good. Uh, I say that. <laughs> the price of ammo, it's, you know, after an hour of shooting, you can go through quite a lot of ammo. It, it hurts the pocketbook. But that's the price we pay to have fun. Well, here we are. Uh, we just got to the range and I can actually hear them in there uh, firing. I'm sitting outside in the truck and uh, I would have thought it'd be more uh, soundproof, but whatever. It's only about a five minute drive from where I live, so I'm not really gonna complain. But let's go in there and See what they got to offer. So, just finished up at the gun range, went through all my ammo in like 30 minutes, and uh, you, you pay for an hour, so it, uh, it pays to bring more than just yourself. Um, otherwise, you know, it's hard to stay there an hour shooting by yourself. Um, the place is nice, it's enjoyable. Uh, their AC isn't really working all that well right now, so it, you're sweating pretty good in there. But um, other than that, uh, it was a nice place to go shoot. Uh, the only thing that really, really uh, made me nervous was as I was finishing up and um, uh, policing my brass, I found 
a, a spent bullet at my feet. I don't know if this is one of my rounds or someone else's, but um, how it got back there by me, kind of um, whether it ricocheted, I don't know. It kind of makes me nervous, but who knows? I, I don't really ever hear about ricochets hitting anybody in the uh, indoor ranges, but I also haven't really looked. So, I guess that's always a possibility. But, now I'm going to go get me some lunch. Might swing by the beach. See how it looks out there. And, uh, I might even go check out the jetties. I haven't been down there in... <laughs> 10, year, 10 plus years at least so that should be fun well I think I'm going to have my lunch at the worst house worst hoss however you say it uh, if you haven't tried it you haven't been here it's German uh, well it's supposed to be German but they have steak, seafood, chicken, pasta you know it it's definitely not what it used to be, but it's still good. Uh, nice atmosphere. Uh, they got a huge selection of beer, so that's always a plus. But um, let's go in and um, ruin my diet. Well, just finished up eating lunch here at the Worst House. And I must say, it's a lot better than the last time I was here. I mean, it, it was good before, but I don't know. They revamped their uh, menu. I had the uh, smothered grilled chicken. They uh, they have this special uh, Jaeger sauce. You talk about delicious. Covered in mozzarella cheese. Man. Green beans, mashed potatoes. It was delicious. Definitely delicious. I don't eat out much, but when I do, I like to enjoy what I have to pay for. So, now I'm going to swing out to the jetties. It's getting kind of late. I don't want to be out there too long and then we'll finish this video off with uh, a trip through the Bucky's car wash there she is the Gulf of Mexico notice the beautiful brown water Go straight you can get on uh, Brian Beach but I want to go to the Quintana Beach County Park so I'm gonna take a left right here Got some fruit. Ooh, looks good I like fruit Getting out here after five, almost five thirty. Had to stop at the uh, good old Brazos Mall. We have some T-shirts. So I realize we got work clothes, workout clothes, and dress clothes. I don't have anything in between. So I swung by there and bought me some cheap, cheap, cheap clothes, like. They, they kind of stink. I, I think it's the smell of the uh, whatever hut or sweatshop they were uh, produced in overseas. So I'm sure either uh, they'll disintegrate in the washing machine or uh, shrink to a 
an extra small and uh, I'll just be taking them back. Everybody's out here fishing. I guess this is the spot to be. Sure, there's a lot of trash around. I guess, uh, to hell with the environment, huh? Last time I was out here, I don't remember there being any kind of parking. It was just kind of free for all. They even got porta potties out here. Well, I had to come out here one night and go fishing. Maybe. Let's see if I can't find the boardwalk. Probably been 15 years since I've been out here, so I've forgotten where everything's at. That big old ship. Of course, they got speed bumps every hundred yards, which wouldn't be so bad if I wasn't in a three-quarter time I'm driving a freaking tank. It's pretty nice out here. I might bring the camper out here one day or one weekend. Plenty of camper spots. Looks like they got full hookup too. Some kid driving that car on the daddy's lap. Historical marker out here. I don't know what that's about. Old Quintana. Named for a Mexican general early as 1532, a thriving village, port of entry in the Republic of Texas. Strategic fort in Civil War, industrial area, cattle and cotton shipping point. 1870 1900, fashionable summer colony. 1884 and afterwards largely destroyed 1900 storm now a resort and fishing center it's not much of a historical marker but whatever
Yep, show sure is. Water's not looking as good as I thought it would. Usually this time of year it's uh, somewhat green and clear. Maybe it's just this side of the jetty. Maybe surf side's probably uh, a little better looking. But yeah, that's uh, Brian Beach for you. Seriously, you're gonna untie it? Fucking goof tar. I unhicked that thing because one time we had the it like flew up and got caught in one of the brushes and it tore up the side of a whole truck. Shh. Alright, <laughs> thanks. No well now I feel like a dick. Anywho, we made it. Into the road, finishing off at Bucky's car wash. I never, ever, ever go anywhere near the beach without washing my vehicle afterwards. I've made that mistake. I bought a vehicle before this one and uh, I didn't check underneath the truck. And the owner before me apparently went to the beach quite a bit and never washed the vehicle afterwards. It was so rusted. Oh man, I, that's lesson learned right there. But I'm hoping as these videos, as I do more videos, I get better at it. I really don't know what to say half the time or most of the time. I guess that would really matter if people actually watch these videos. But we'll see. It's, uh, it's kind of difficult for me to overcome recording and, and people watching me. You know, I just, it's awkward. Uh, makes me anxious. But that's something I'm going to have to get over in time. Hopefully I can get past that. But I don't know. I don't know how people do it. I'm, I'm new to this whole vlog get up. I don't, I don't. I don't know. I guess it's a learning learning experience. But. Um, like I said, maybe in time it'll, it'll, it'll get better. Hopefully, I, I'll, in a couple of videos, I, I won't realize that I have a really boring life. <laughs> but uh, maybe these videos will help me get out more. Uh, instead of just working and sleeping. I used to run the roads all the time, but now I just don't have time. Gotta make time. Life's too short. But that does it for today. Hope y'all enjoyed. Until then, Texas Sun.